Hello again, everybody. Close from seven here, right back where we left off at. So there's gonna be some slight changes here, not nothing you can immediately notice. But as you can see, I'm heading back towards Route Four, which is something that seems really illogical and something that you would think I would not want to do. But you will see why here soon. And we have it right here. So I put Ekans into the game because normally you cannot find him. As I'm having issues with trading, I decided what better way than just put him in the route where you would normally find another game. So what I did is use a program called Advanced Map, which is an editor for Pokemon ROMs that allows you to edit what the map looks like, where you can go, and encounter rates. Um, in the past, I have messed around with it quite a bit, and just changing what Pokemon you find is a really easy change. Um, so I went through and I put Ekans in here, as well as adjusting Route 25, so that on Route 25 I now find Oddish instead of Bellsprout, which is a slight change, but it's enough so that I can best keep on with, keep on the Pokédex here. Moving silently and stealthily, it eats the eggs at first, it is Pidgey and Spearow whole. That's a bit violent. Okay, don't want to be near you with a Pidgey or a Spearow, I guess. So now that we've got Ekans there, what I'm going to do is keep heading on up to where we would normally be traveling, which is right down Route 24, which is where I planned to go originally anyway. And we head on up here. We've already been off the left, got ourselves a Bell Sprout, And we got a Pokéball right here. Team for have a track. Sweet. And you can see there's an item up there. You can see that. We got Route 25. There's the grass right here that we will be running around a lot in looking to find stuff. Got a peach a berry. Let's see how yeah, we can find here now. I put Oddish in here so we can go ahead and look at Oddish in this small patch of grass. It's the only grass on Route 25. So I'm going to run around here until I can go ahead and find an Oddish for you guys. Alright? So I will be right back with an Oddish. Right, I have an oddish here. I just want to reiterate, make sure you guys know what's going on, is that you cannot normally find these Pokemon here. They would never show up, it's just not how the game is programmed. You'd find an oddish in Fire Red, a Bellsprout and Leaf Green, that's just how it's programmed. But I changed that up just so I can show you guys what it's like to pull Pokedex in this game, where you can find everything and catch it. Um, what I'm doing here, going to weaken oddish down a little bit, just because I don't want to have to worry about him. Um, I should build these, actually, I'm not going to weaken at all, am I? Because he has to absorb. You're like that. Whatever. Oh, I hate Absorb. <sighs> Wrap him, try and get some residual damage. Ha <laughs> ha, so especially my poison type already. Lucky me. So, so you got Wrap in there, which is not bad at all. Couple more poison things, and Absorb's gonna heal up all the damage I've done to you so far, isn't it? Because you're just gonna be mean like that. I'm calling it right now. Well, okay, I didn't heal up all of it, but it healed up a bit. But it's gonna be just be a bit of more bit irritating to have to deal with constantly, but whatever. Keep whittling it down a little bit more. Oh my gosh, please stop using it. It's probably like one of his only attacking moves he has, which is why he's using it. So, another poison sting. <sighs> I don't want to sit here forever wailing on it. I just want to catch this sticky thing. We'll do one more turn of attacking. Sweet scent! Oh no! <sighs> Evasive this fell. Oh no! Evasive this fell. Sweet scent is actually another move you can use outside of battle. What it does is, if you're like hunting a Pokemon, it makes them show up more often, which is like, it's nothing major, it's just like, you'll, instead of running into Pokemon every six steps, you'll find one every like three steps now or something like that. I don't know the exact, really how, exactly by how much it improves it, but it improves it, so, yeah. And Oddish was caught, yay. Oddish was added to the Pokedex. Number 43. During the day, it keeps its face buried in the ground. At night, it wanders around sowing its seeds. Alright. And then that's all we need to catch on this route. Or is it? Ha ha ha! Did you see what I do here? You see, you see this thing? You see that Bulbasaur there? Well, I decided since you can't, I cannot currently trade, I was going to put the starters in locations. This seemed fitting for them. And for a Bulbasaur, I felt like putting it here on Route 25 is like a good fit. I have other grass types, Oshin Bell Sprout. That's a couple of bugs that I feel like might fit in decently well here. So we're going to go ahead and catch him real quick, because why not? We got a Pokedex somehow. Um, you normally can never find the starters anywhere. It just doesn't happen. You don't find them in the wild. So you will never find a wild starter in the game, in your own game. So don't even bother looking for one. It's not going to happen. This is just here because I edited it to be here. This is going to take forever. Why do I do no damage? 
Uh, neither of us do damage to each other. This is irritating. That gives you a bit more damage, maybe. You're lower level, but, I mean, you're gonna have at least normal effective moves. Ow. Rap, go. To just live the attack, okay, that's all I needed. And you missed. Again, you're useless. Okay, sweet. Whatever. Yes, you use next Pokemon. Let's go. Back to Onish. Let's check a Pokemon and see what happens, because I don't want to sit here forever. At last! The menace has been caught! I hate this Bulbasaur! Why did I do this? A strange sea was planted on his back of birth. The plant stars and girls with this Pokemon. Ah! Catching a Bulbasaur. Shot it when that's to get complicated. Gosh! You! Urgh. Whatever, okay. Back to how the game normally goes. You don't find run into Bulbasaur's ever normally, so. I was a down from Mount Moon, but I've still got gas in the tank. Alright, good for you. I'm gonna battle you and take all my rage out that I couldn't force onto seeing Bulbasaur. Because it wouldn't ever die! Well, get caught. I didn't want it to die. <sighs> that took way too stinking long for something that never normally happens in the game anyway. That was just irritating. So, continue on Road 25, where uh, you normally don't find Oddishes or Bulbasaurs, you just find Bulbasaurs and Abras. But I don't want to switch, I don't want to see that Bulbasaur ever again. I was going to go put him in the PC after this, and I'm never going to look at him again. And I will be content with that. Actually, I will eventually, because I'm going to evolve him, but that's not currently. That'll be the little way down the road. We'll get to that when we get to that. I'll rage and be very mad and want to murderize it, but you know, whatever. Ah, level 28 now, sweet. Good Hiker Franklin. You worked hard, I did. I worked very hard in using two whole moves against you. Got some other kid over here. Local trainers come here to practice. They do, believe it or not. This is the best spot to come train out if you need to battle the gym, which I already just wrecked, because I'm that awesome. Gunks and Joy would like to battle. So now, Rotata. Hi, Rotata. How are you? Uh, let's go ahead and use Bite, because, you know, Bite tends to deal with Rotata just fine. Yep, and Rotata is gone. Andre, the experience, and a Spiro, which should be just as easy as Rotata was. Because, you know, Bite, and he's gone. <laughs> I've gone to the point where I literally just one-shot everything. There's no strategy involved, it's just button mashing. You're decent, I am decent. Thanks for loading noticing, kid. And got another hiker down here, we can go battle. Going to see Bill. First, we battle! Technically, you don't even have to have battle this guy ever, but I mean, I guess we can battle. Hiker Wayne would like to battle. And an Onyx. Hey, level 17 Onyx, good for you. You know what I have to deal with Onyx? I have this little move called Water Pulse, and it makes Onyxes disappear. Logically, you think the Onyx could, like, swim through the hole in between the Water Pulses? You'd think, because, like, he's a long snake thing, so... I, I don't know, I'm just putting too much logic here. You're something. I, I am something, I guess. Thanks for noticing, maybe. I don't know. Hi! hi. You just turned suddenly. <laughs> Dad, took me to, Dad took me to a great party on SSN of Vermilion City. What's the SSN? I don't know. We'll find out later. Youngster Dan would like to battle. Youngster Dan is out Slowpoke. Slowpoke. Hi, Slowpoke. By Slowpoke. Super effective, because Slowpoke is water psychic. Meaning that Bite, which is a dark move, will be super effective against him. Well, that was easy. I'm not mad, I you sure sound to like it with that tone of voice. Okay, whatever. Head on down here. You got a couple more battles left. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. Is he really, though? But is he really? Pinnaker Kelsey would like to battle. That ran male. Sweet, that's gonna be another. Cakewalk, just go ahead and water pulse it, and then mid ran is no longer an issue. Just avoid physical moves, because being poisoned sucks, and I'm going to avoid that at all costs. Thank you very much. I'm just trying to experience, not bad, and a mid ran female. I'm just going to avoid physical moves, because I forget if you have poison point or not. So let's go for another water pulse, and take care of that. Problem solved, no more issues. Yay. Alright, and Pinder Kelsey defeated. My conditioning isn't the best. Aw, oh, it sucks to be you then. Mine is. I'm awesome. Got another hiker here. I'll have to see the Pokemon in the ice closer at the cape. This is normal. 
I guess we're like the end of the road. I guess you can call it a cave. I don't know. It's it's weird. Why do you have four geodudes? Okay. okay, I'm assuming you have four geodudes. It's not actually gonna be four geodudes. You're probably. I think you guys like a machop in here as well as a random machop as well as like three geodudes. I, I, it's just a waste. I don't know why he has so many Pokemon. When I just want to blaze through and get past everything. Hey, look, another Geodude. Called it. Watch, after this, it's going to be another level 13 Geodude. So just you wait. It's going to happen. I'm going to laugh. So Geodude, dead. Okay, critical hit. Okay. Fainted, I'm sorry. Gotta be specific here. Another 230 experience. Level 29. Already almost 30. That's kind of crazy. Alright. And another Geodude. Level 13. I'm calling it level 13? Level 13? Yeah, level 13. I was right. Woo! <laughs> so funny. Not at all. That's just sort of what happens here. Okay, that takes care of Geo, dude. Next we got a Machop. I knew it. Yeah, I I know odd to the bits about this game that I should not know, but I still remember. Okay, this guy's three dude dudes and a Machop. Oh. Oh yeah, he's fighting. So Dark is not good against fighting. I should have thought of that. Whatever. He's still gone. Either way, not an issue. So I don't care. I just bumped my knife with my mouth, my finger. I was scratching my ear. Tiger knob. Ha, <laughs> you're a noob. You done got me. I'm real good, too. Uh, sure, I guess that's how you can talk. Let's see if there's a tree up here. If you step right here and walk up one, the trainer moves out so you can get the item currently without having to wait until you have cut. So yeah, I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. If she got off to my left, did I already beat her up? I'm gonna beat up both of them! Yay! I'm gonna achieve something. A Rattata. You know what, Rattata? If you're an annoying mouse, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Yay! Get punched. Okay, Rattata's gone. That was so hard to do. Not at all. And an Ekans. Dude, I can deal with an Ekans. That should be a piece of cake. Oh no, Intimidate. I'm gonna cower in the corner because I'm so scared. Water Pulse. Because Intimidate doesn't affect Water Pulse. I'm pretty sure anything would one-shot at this point anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Atkins. Wait, we can't flip. Aw, darn. You seem so unsad about this. Whatever. Hit TM43, which is Seeker Power, which uh, changes based on where you're using it at. So, I look at him. An Oranberry. He's only told those weird, like, centered grass spots. That's how you figure out where it is. <gasps> he saw me. I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. Oh, did you? Did you really? <laughs> Youngster chatted like the battle. Sit down with Ekans. Hi, Ekans. How are you? Probably not doing that great because you have to battle level 29 War Turtle. Which you should logically never see at this point in the game, but I have one anyway. Bye, Ekans. <laughs> okay, what's next? A Sandshrew. I can deal with a sand screw just fine. Butterballs. There we go, no more sand screw. That was easy enough. 279 experience. I knew I'd lose too! Why, why did you battle me then? You're not very bright, are you, kid? Another hidden item! A blockberry! Ha ha ha. The berry names are always odd. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Well, I don't know who your friend is, so I can't tell you if they actually have cute Pokemon or not. Well, what Pokemon do you have? Oddish. Oddish is probably not a cute Pokemon, let's be honest here. Mega Punch into the face. Or the, the Leaf Stem, I guess. It's a bit above the face, so I mean. Close enough, though. <sighs> Another Oddish? Are you just gonna have Oddishes? Like, why would you only have Oddishes? That seems like a really dumb idea. Mega Punch! Bye, Oddish. Number two. And one more. A Pidgey. That's different. I feel like trainers should like have nicknames for Pokemon. I think that'd be pretty cool. It'd also be really confusing, I guess, for someone that's like new to the series. Maybe like have an option menu if you want them to have nicknames for the Pokemon or not. And that'd be yeah, that could be fun. I don't know. Let's come up with random ideas now. I'm not so jealous. Um, I feel like I read that really weird incantation, but whatever. Okay, it was a famous date spot. This is a gym leader. It's high hopes about this place. Okay. Hello, are you here alone? If you're out of the really escape, well, there should be as a couple. Unless you're Bill, then you live in here on your computer. Or... 
You're not Bill. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true little Pokemaniac. He looks at a skeptical look. I'm not Josh or you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here? I, I, I guess. Who told you to tell a teleporter? Well, I do go to my PC and run the cell separation system. And if I screw this up, then what happens? Let's see. Delete. So I initially the teleporter is cell separation. I wanted to delete the program. <sighs> I guess we'll separate him. <gasps> he teleported. No way. Where's the Pokemon at, though? Why in the world? Who are you? Yeehaw! Thanks, but I owe you one. Did you come to see my Pokemon collection? Didn't. That's a bummer. I gotta thank you. Oh, here. Maybe this will do. I got an SS ticket from Bill. Yay! It's a second the key. I'm talking about. That cruise ship SS Anna is in Brilliant City. I hear there are lots of trainers on board, too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on, have a good time. Is there a Pokemon over here? Like, you just transformed... Uh, there's nothing there. Can't even... Whatever. You're... I don't believe you, man. You're crazy. Whatever. Alright, that's about good for here. We went through, had the stinking antics of catching a stinking Bulbasaur. But whatever. Get through 25, and I think that's a good point to end up here. So I'll see you guys next time. I wish you continue on and probably head on towards our next gym. Woohoo! Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.